Hello guys and welcome back to Gedu. In this video, we brought to you Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 camera replacement. First of all, we will going to use a heat gun or a heat pad or a hair dryer on the back cover of the phone to melt the adhesive in between the back cover and the battery. We will not going to overheat it. We will just try to apply the heat around the phone on the edges. Once it is heated enough, we are going to use a pry tool to cut through that adhesive. In our case, we are using a plastic card. We will recommend you strongly not to put the card too much inside, just enough to cut through the adhesive. And once you have cut through the adhesive enough, try to tilt open the phone because there is a flex cable attached to the phone with the back cover. After that, remove the back protective shield of the motherboard which is covering all the connectors also. Unscrew all the screws. Once you are done with the screws, carefully start removing the connectors from the motherboard. Use a plastic spudger tool. You can see this golden tape which was above the front camera connector. Try to lift it up a little bit and the front camera connector will be easily lifted. This is how you can actually change the front camera. Now carefully remove all the connectors of all the cameras on the back you will see three connectors the back camera has 48 megapixel wide lens 8 megapixel ultra wide lens 2 megapixel micro lens and 2 megapixel depth lens. At this stage we are not sure that if one camera has a fault in it, it needs to be replaced all the cameras or we can just do it by just similar camera replacement. So we have just removed all three cameras. But in order to remove the fourth camera, we have to undo the motherboard. We will open all the screws from the motherboard. Make sure you remove the SIM tray. Disconnect all the connectors, cables, aerial connector. Try to carefully lift up the motherboard. Make sure it's not bending, it can crack very easily. Once the motherboard is detached, you can pick it up your hand and you will see the fourth camera is pretty much connected on the back side it has an adhesive you have to undo the adhesive you have to lift it up a bit which is on the metal part which is protective shield for the small ICs lift it up from there and you can easily remove the connector so as you can see these were your four cameras and if you need to replace them just reverse the action you can start putting them as they are and then fifth camera as you see on the top that's the front camera once you have attached the back camera to the motherboard you just put the motherboard back in place make sure it is sitting properly in its place put all the screws back we would recommend you to use the project magnet mat where you can actually put the screws how they were on the motherboard that will help a lot put the same tray back you can start connecting 
all the cameras try to put the cameras in the position where they are so you remember which camera goes first it will be very difficult for you to uh, make a mistake on this because they are all different connectors and the cable size is a bit different so you shouldn't be making any mistake on that one so they pretty much sit on the place they should be and finally we can put the front camera so this is how pretty much you can replace any camera on this phone now we're going to put the lens make sure it is sitting properly clipped in in order to complete the job we will put all the connectors back we'll try to close the phone put the protective shield of the motherboard back on screw everything back on make sure all the ADLs are connected all the flex cables are connected they are in their place make sure when you're putting the shield all the clips went inside before you start screwing it if you don't do something like that and some clip has been left outside and you try to screw it back in you can damage that once all the screws back in Put the last flag on the back cover, connect it back on, attach the back cover with double sided tape or a glue. Once it's attached, you can turn on the phone and see if all the cameras are working. We hope you like the video. If you are looking for any replacement parts, please check our description below. Well, this is from Gay to today. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. Hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.